Hello everybody, this is Bill Platt. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of what you're going to find within the KD Researcher software uh, version 2.0. Uh, with version 1.0, we had the uh, drop down categories. You could select the top level category and a subcategory here. And I've already pulled up the search results for um, mystery, thriller, and suspense, and then mystery. It would look at top 100 paid books and top 100 free books inside the Kindle store. And with the version 2.0, we've added a lot of functionality to this. Not only can you look at Kindle books, you can also look at print books as well. And not only do you have to look, keep your searches confined to Amazon.com, you can also search Amazon.co.uk. And um, so... And the important thing here is that uh, if we were, Amazon has 20,000 categories inside their book department. So we kept trying to figure out how we could cover all 20,000 categories within the KD Researcher software. And what we came to is this setup right here where we've got a box there that you can copy the bestseller URL from any category and copy it into the software and do your search. So let me show you real quick before we go on. I'm going to show you how to do that in just a minute. But for now, each uh, search result brings up the book cover, the title, the overall sales rank in the Amazon store, the price of the book, the year it was published, number of pages, number of reviews, and the average rating given to that book by reviewers. And as you can see, we can look at them side by side inside the software. And there's a, the top 100 are actually shown in the results here. So let me go back up to the top here. And we can break these down by price. Let's look at only books between $4 and $9.99, which will eliminate this one here, which is $13.99. This one's $12.99. Uh, this one's $14.99. All these are going to disappear from the search results when I make a selection of $4 to $9.99. And now you've got a smaller list of books to look at, but they're all within your price range. Let's look at the page counts. Let's look, uh, let's see, anything over 250 pages, that's going to drop this book here. And let's see... It will also, that's the only one that's going to be dropped when I do that. So let me do, uh, plus. let's do plus 300 pages. That changes your search results again. And this allows you to dig deep into your category to find books that are related, comparable to yours. Whether their page count, whether their price, whether the publication date, what year the publication date was, the number of reviews that you have on your book. And we can narrow it all down to do a side-by-side -side comparison with whatever book you're creating. So once you've got all your uh, data gathered up, you can actually go in and save what you've learned. And you can save it right here. It will export the information to a CSV file for you. And let me show you how it works with the uh, Amazon.com. Like this category here is uh, Amazon bestsellers in the marketing and sales and advertising category. And you, all you have to do is copy the URL and go back over to the software. And let's go ahead and clear the screen before the next search. Drop it into this box here. Do a paste. Click search. And now our information is coming up. One thing to note is counting through right here. If you'll notice down here. Publication year is missing. Page count is missing. We have to go to the individual sales pages to get that data. So that's what's doing here. It's counting them through and bringing up that information for each and every book in the system. So we can bring up the uh, uh, .com this way. And we can also go back over to Amazon and do a search for .co.uk and a point of reference here let me get this up here go into books do a search we cannot use keyword searches to find results with the software 
all we can do is go to the bestseller list, load up the bestsellers for any category, copy the URL, bring it into KD Researcher, and paste it into this box. So select all and paste. But since I've already got going through, I'm not going to stop it. Let me go ahead and stop there. We'll do the cancel. It takes just a second to cancel. We'll replace that .com URL with a uh, .co.uk URL. And we'll begin our search again. So now we got a whole different set of books within the search results. This time, an important distinction also. Now, prices are broke down by uh, uh, British pounds instead of US dollars. So this is how the software works. Uh, I think you'll really appreciate what it can do for you as far as uh, digging deep into the uh, sales results for any book in whatever category you're trying to compete. Uh, thank you very much. If you like this, if it looks good to you, drop down to the link below, pick up a copy for yourself, and uh, be aware that if you purchased this software before, all you have to do is open the software again, and it will self-update for you.